So it's Friday, I just got home from work, and I look the hottest mess that I've ever looked. <laughs> so today is the Rouge 20% off sale. Well, it's this weekend, but I picked up some stuff from Sephora for the Rouge sale, and then I picked up some stuff from the body shop. So I figured I'd show you. So you get the holiday tote bag, which looks like these. Um, Sephora never does sales, and like I have done lots of things that I feel like are big accomplishments in life, but being VIB Rouge is the biggest thing. Like going into Sephora and them saying, you're Rouge, right? And me being like, yeah, I am. Is my proudest moments in life, are my proudest moments in life. So I'll show you guys what I picked up. The big size of the Hourglass Veil Primer. And then I got the Sunday Riley Saturn Mask which my skin's broken out from that Joay foundation that I used last week, so I'm never using it again. It smells terrible. It has sulfur in it, so it literally smells like rotten eggs. I also got the Milk Makeup Matcha Toner because I was looking for a new toner. The Sunday Riley one, unfortunately, is not vegan. So I got the CEO Micro Dissolving Cleansing Oil. This is a facial cleansing oil to take off your makeup at the end of the day. Voyeur Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I was close, so I got that because I love the Kat Von D, but I feel like it starts to get like watery after a while. Does anyone else feel that way? Then I got the Too Faced Melted um, Gingerbread, Scented Gingerbread Color. It is vegan and it's limited edition for the holidays. All of their melted mattes are vegan, so I got that. And then I also picked up the Body Shop tea tree night lotion which i really love this night lotion so i use the seaweed deep cleansing gel wash in the morning the same line of oil control gel cream to moisturize but um i figured i'd start the vlog today because tomorrow well tonight tomorrow tonight i have to be up at 3 a.m tonight tomorrow <laughs> to take Sarah to the airport because she's going to Haiti for a mission trip so I figured since I'd be up at the butt crack of dawn tomorrow I'd go ahead and start the vlog while it was light outside oh I forgot to tell you I had Chipotle for lunch and it was so good it's been so long since I had Chipotle because sometimes I just go on Chipotle like that's my exclusive diet like Chipotle three times a week but not recently but it was so good. I missed it. Best guac. Best pinto beans. Best rice. I'll never leave Chipotle for that long again. Alright, we dropped off baby girl. I did end up going back to sleep. <laughs> I went to sleep at like 5 30 and I woke up at 9. So yeah. I'm up. I'm letting the dog out because I'm watching her while um her mom's in Haiti. And I need to get ready for lunch because I forgot I planned a lunch with my friend Jamie, which you guys know. Um she's my badass friend that climbs the mountains and does cliff diving and stuff. It, she's insane. But I love her. So I'm getting ready to get, I'm getting ready, <laughs> I'm getting ready to do lunch with her after the puppy is done going potties. She's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. It's just you and me, kid. You know, I've watched you every single time your mother has gone to Haiti, and she still feels the need to tell me to give you food and water. Have I ever left you unfed? Or unwatered, huh? No, I haven't. So 
Jamie has a migraine, so we're going to dinner instead of lunch. So I'm going to take this afternoon to clean. Mmm. I put a little bit of cinnamon in it today because I was feeling fancy, you know? Um, my nose hoop should be here any second. It says that it's in my postal code, so it should be here soon. I look such a mess. <laughs> such a mess so Jamie has a migraine we might go to dinner tonight if not we'll go to lunch tomorrow I kind of want to go to the blue cat cafe either today or tomorrow which is like the cat cafe here in Austin so if you don't see it today it'll be in what I ate in a day the one after this so I want to go I want to snuggle some kitties they have all vegan food so yeah I'm gonna go clean do you guys want to see that no one wants to see that before after that is my dry cleaning and bless my job for paying for my dry cleaning because there's probably like 30 pieces in there and it's going to cost hundreds but i don't have a limit so i just send everything um yes oh my gosh i'm so happy it's so clean in here and um now i have one room left to go so so this room is clean too i only put half of my pillows because i know you guys like to talk trash so I only put half of them because I don't want to hear you guys today. But yeah, it's all clean. I'm wearing, I'm wearing, I'm using my dark blankets because Ellie's sleeping with me this week since Sarah's in Haiti. And getting black lab hair out of that set is like ridiculous. That's why I didn't put those pillows either and I have my travel pillow over there. All my shoesies, actually half of my shoesies, my other shoes are in my other room. Um, but yeah. It's all clean. I feel great. I even vacuumed, which is a miracle. I have two gallons of water here, which I need to combine because there's just like parts of gallons that I haven't drank. And then my box fan, my mirror bottle, um, because you guys know I love expensive water bottles. My hemp solution, which is vegan and cruelty free, if you didn't know. And then like my B12 and stuff up here. And my space heater, which I got from New Air not that long ago. They're the people that sent over my air fryer. They had these two, and I've had space heaters my whole life because I'm always like cold-blooded, as my mom likes to call it. I love it because it has a remote and eco mode, which is what I always keep it on. I keep it on like 70 something in eco mode, but you can set like a timer if you just want it to be on for like a little bit while you're sleeping. You can set a timer and you can always set the temp. So if you want the temp to be like higher while you're sleeping, you can do that. And I love the remote, which makes it super easy and it's super portable. So the ceramic plates are great because they don't have the hot coils and it makes a more accurate heat. And also it does have the tip sensor. So if it tips over, it turns off immediately because I'm the queen of forgetting to turn it off, which is why I love the freaking timer. But yeah, high, low, and then there's eco mode, which I leave it on eco mode all the time. And it turns off in 10 seconds. And in the mornings, I usually just take it over to my office because it's cold in there so this room will be heated up then I'll take it over there because Sarah doesn't really like to turn on the heat it makes her nose stuffy um so I just wear a onesie and I use this little guy but I'll link it down below if you do use space heaters or are looking for one that's really great because I'm obsessed it's 318 and I still haven't eaten anything so when you ask why I don't film what I ate in a day is every day it's because I'm terrible at like feeding myself normally so <laughs> I'm getting ready to have a little yogurt bowl. I have this Kite Hill yogurt. It's the Greek one. I really like it and it's peach. And then I have some frozen mango and some frozen raspberries right here. Then I have some toasted coconut granola from Trader Joe's. So I'm just going to pop all of this together and have a quick smoothie bowl. And then I need to shower because I look like, oh my gosh, you don't even want to know. I'm going to thin this out with just a little bit of my Kite Hill kefir just because I want it to be like not smoothie like but just a little bit thinner because the Greek yogurt is super thick. I'm just putting a little scoop of my lecithin in there because I like to get this in like with my first meal um, just because it gets my brain really going. And just like a tablespoon of my hemp protein. Three tablespoons is a serving so it's like obviously divided by that and you can't really taste this. It's gonna look gross but I promise I do this all the time. It tastes really good. 
So I just put my granola, that's about three-fourths of a cup that was left in that bag. And then my raspberries and my mangoes, which are mostly defrosted, which I like for them to defrost a bit. And then you can see the yogurt under there. And I'll probably just put some kind of nut butter on here, probably sunflower seed butter, just because I like a little bit of nut butter for extra protein and a little bit healthy fat. So this is sunflower butter from Thrive. I use them all the time. This obviously isn't a sponsored video, but obviously I have this stuff all over my house because I actually do use them all the time. And this is organic sunflower butter, so I'm just gonna put like a little bit on the top. Cause I like the nuttiness of the sunflowers. I would never use like peanut butter, but I do like tahini and the sunflower butter on top of things like this. And maybe some hemp seeds, cause I think I have some hemp seeds. That's it. Yogurt bowl. So good. I love it. I love yogurt and granola. Just mix your good things in it because it makes you get it out of the way. Because I hate like having to remember to take my vitamins. So I usually just like mix them into my food. But this is going to be delicious. I'm going to scarf it. Delicious. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I did my hair really quick. So I'm going to use some of the stuff that I got yesterday. So this is the seaweed oil control gel cream. I used to use this all the time. And now they have new packaging. So I'm super excited about that. I love this because it absorbs into the skin really fast. And it makes your face pretty much feel prepped. Even though my face is never prepped without hourglass. I'm not going to break into my new hourglass yet until I get all of this out. There's still some in the bottom. I feel like I need to turn it like upside down. When you pay like $70 for a product, um, you don't waste any drops. So <laughs> I'm going to keep using this until it's empty, empty, and then I will switch to my new one. And this is the hourglass mineral veil. I can't wait till my skin clears back up. I swear anytime I use a new foundation, I break out and then it takes like a week and a half for my skin to get back to normal, but we will get back there. My two favorite foundations at the time, at the moment, are the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and this is the Naked Skin One and Done. I mix these together because this is a little too light, this is a little too orange, and the cream is blendable but I feel like it sits on top of the skin a little bit so when I mix the two it soaks in and it's perfect Heart-shaped tape and tan sand. This is the Wet n Wild Contoured Stick, Contoured, Contortionist, Contour Stick in Where's the Walnut. And I just like to put this right in my hollows and around my forehead and a little bit on my jawline. And then I blend it out with the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. Then I just take a really big brush with my Pure Minerals 4-in-1 foundation. I'm in the color medium dark. You can also use Hourglass Dim Light for this step. I'm just switching it up today. 
and I just pop that everywhere to kind of set it into place. It doesn't need a full set, it just kind of needs a, you know, a little pounce. You don't need to bake it or anything. Unless you want to, then do that. I know I've seen naked this whole video, but I do have on like a little bandeau type thing if it matters. This is the Bella Pierre Mineral Blush in Autumn Glow. I got this in a Love Goodly box. And I really like it because it's like a natural glow. Um, just gives like a little teensy bit of sheen. You know, a school teacher glow. Or, a, I don't know, soccer moms can be blinding too, right? I'm gonna do my brows. This is the NYX Precision Brow Pencil. So this is my first time using the Hourglass um, liquid liner. I usually use the Kat Von D, but I haven't been super happy with it the last few I got, so I decided to pick up this one and give it a go. Um, and this is the Voyeur waterproof liquid liner, and it's in the color Ultra Black. Wow, that is one thin tip. Well, I am. I love it. it. Looks really good. Our what would you expect from Hourglass, though? Seriously, they're amazing. So I'm gonna put on my lippy, then I'm gonna put on lashes, then I'll be ready to go. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte in Gingerbread, and it's a really pretty color. Look at that. It's like the red but brown, so I guess gingerbread -y. It smells like chocolate, not like gingerbread. It says it smells like gingerbread, but it smells much more like chocolate to me. I hope the smell on this lipstick goes away pretty soon because it's making me nauseous. Charlotte Tilbury Glossy Black Mascara, top and bottom. Kat Von D Locket Setting Spray. We're ready to conquer the day. So clearly we're not doing anything fancy since I have on a sports bra today. But I just have on this t-shirt, um, probably from Old Navy. And these are my cut by the clock denim jeans. And I have on these Asics um, walkers. They're just like, hold on, let me show you. They're little walking shoes. They're just gray and they have like the sock built in. So they don't have like a tongue or anything, but they're really cute and I like them. Okay, that was literally a roller coaster for you guys. So yeah, outfit of the day. I might take a little jacket with me because I'm not sure if it's cold outside, but super duper cash. Ooh, I bet this is my nose ring. It has a star on it. I don't know, the star mean nose ring. I must say, it's really nice to have a clean home, but it takes way too much time and next time I'm gonna have someone else do it. But let's open this, I think. This is my nose ring, yes. Here's a little baggie, and let's see. I had to order one on Etsy because I was having trouble finding one in town, um, and it just comes in this little box. If I can open it, sometimes having nails is good, which are ratchet right now. Um, but sometimes it's like annoying. Oh, there it is. 
little nose ring. So my nose, 10% off coupon. Receive 10% off your next order. Type the word, oh I can't say that. But I got this from qualitynosestuds.com and on Etsy they are called something else though. Mm, just nose rings. So this is a 22 gauge gold hoop. I wanted mine smaller. So typically, I don't know, most piercers pierce with around 20 gauge, but mine's pierced with the 18 gauge, which is quite large. So I'm shrinking it down to a 22 because I want it to be more of like a delicate um, piercing. So um, it doesn't take very long to shrink. It won't close, it'll just shrink. Is instead of pulling them apart, you just kind of twist them to open, don't pull. So I twisted it and now we're gonna try to switch it out. I've never actually switched mine out before. So, um, it should, ooh, I just like smeared my lipstick. It should be interesting. Oh my gosh. Mine's like a twist in. I don't know if anything's happening. I think I've just made it really angry. Ugh. I don't know how to get it out. So mine isn't like a twist in kind. It's like an actual barbell. So this part is twisted on very, very tight. So when I twist it, my nose ring just twists. The threads don't twist out. So maybe I need to put on something like a glove to like get a grip. Do we have gloves? No. My hoop's just a little bit too big for my nose. But I didn't want it to be too small. But I think it looks good, right? Hmm, we're hoopy. I think I can shrink this one just the tiniest bit. I just arrived at the happiest place on earth. Thank you. <laughs> Hobby Lobby. Duh. And I bet you it's gonna be Christmas in here. I knew it. enough Christmasing. I'm actually here because I need a second chair for my office and I got my other one here. It was on sale. It's like 30 bucks. So I want to see if they have the matching one so I can have two chairs in my office. That's my goal. They always have them so hopefully they have them today. I just feel like since I'm saying that they're not going to have it. I'm going to be sad. Oh hoop come through. I love the hoop. Do you guys like the hoop? Tell me. Hoop yes, hoop no. So the one in my office looks like this, but it's like white and short. But they don't have it anymore. I looked everywhere. So Hobby Lobby is now the saddest place on earth because they did not have my chair. And I feel like I've seen them other places, but I can't quite picture where it was. Maybe it was like Marshalls or something like that. But I feel like they're super popular at the moment when I bought them. They had them in clear and they had them in white. But now I can't find it and I'm really sad because I want a second one, but I want my office chairs to match. I'm currently at the second happiest place on earth. Don't let me down, home goods. Oh my gosh, I need children right away. How cute. It's not looking good, guys. Not at all. I'm so bummed. I don't want to be that anal freak that buys two brand new chairs so that they match because I can't find one like my old one. So I'm just going to try to give it like a week and go to a couple more Home Goods, a couple Marshalls, and see if I find it before I buy two new chairs <laughs> because I'm that girl. So I'm going to look around one more time the store to see if I see it. And if not, then I'll just survey the Austin area for one. Ooh, maybe Craigslist. I don't want to get murdered. I want you guys to know something about your internet mother. <sighs> Typically, if I weren't fighting the urge really bad, which I don't know that I'm not going to, I would 100% go to every store that I think I saw that chair at, and I would search and search until I found it. And I would not go home until either the, clo the stores closed or I found the chair. 
today I'm not gonna do that <laughs> because I have to go home and feed Ellie like that's the only reason but everything in my being wants me to go to the other home goods go to the other Hobby Lobby and see if I can find that chair like it's really a struggle for me right now not to go because I might go I might go don't go I might go though see so you guys this, this is the hard things also do we think I need a smaller hoop a little smaller I think just a teensy bit smaller so that it hugs my nose I want that chair I need none of your judgment and no I know a trait like mine can be seen as undesirable but I see it as persistent and my persistence has paid off I found it <laughs> nevertheless and it's only $34 sometimes not being able to let things go and being like annoying and having this tick in your brain that won't let you just stop is a great thing because I got it and it's on sale don't we look really happy together I thought so and we're in the Garden of Eden I think Okay. <sighs> I don't know. I guess like put it up here. Oh! Put it up here so it doesn't slide. I don't know. I'm so happy now. Like that made me so happy. Also, you know, things things are good. Um, so I want to have broccoli and soy curls for dinner, but I want them to be like sassy. So I don't really have anything to make sauce at home right now. So I think I'm going to run to Target and get that super high sodium, um, what is it? The Panda Express orange chicken sauce and put that on it and get a little thing of the pre-cooked like jasmine rice or something for a really quick dinner. And yeah, then I'll probably just round off my night. Jamie did end up texting and she still has a migraine. Poor baby. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for her. Um, so we're gonna do brunch or lunch tomorrow. And um, I'll probably show you guys dinner once I get home, but I'm gonna run into Target really quick. I decided to come to Natural Grocers and said they probably have something that's better. Um, so I know that it always seems like I'm ranting and raving in the vlogs, but I feel like you get to see the truest version of me. Do you ever feel like everyone around you is just going incredibly slow? And it just frustrates me. I just wish people would speed up sometimes. It's like, come on. And if you want to live your last however many years slow that's fine but can you move out of my way so that I can like speed walk and like get a little more in like I want to fit in as much as possible and you're really hindering my progress here like I feel like every store that I'm walking in people are just so slow and I'm like move out of my way people are just so slow and I'm just like can you can you move now like or go faster or something at least have courtesy for me and wanting to live my life in the fast lane that's all that's all I ask have courtesy for those of us that want to live our lives in the fast lane people slow people but I'm gonna go into natural grocers now I told you guys it's everywhere in Austin and it's so good this Thai red curry is on sale for like a dollar and then the basmati rice. So I think I might just do like a red curry for dinner. That might be yummy. So I tried to order these on Thrive, but I couldn't because they're not shipping chocolate to Texas at the moment because it will melt. But Coco Mel's came out with these little coconut milk caramel bites. So we'll have to try those when we get home. Made without gluten, dairy, organic, non-GMO. And of course, vegan it's getting dark out but since i haven't eaten anything with that smoothie bowl today i am quite hungry so i'm gonna eat one of these little beef jerkies i've had these before i don't really remember if i like this specific flavor it's not gonna focus i'm sorry um i can't remember if i like this specific flavor but it'll hold me over until i can cook dinner and tomorrow I'm getting me a peppermint mocha because peppermint mochas are back and I mean I love pumpkin but I like peppermint mocha way more than I like pumpkin. Yes, we twinge. So I got the second one to replace that stool that's really uncomfortable that I hate. 
So they're both under here right now. One of them actually goes there at like my makeup area. So I kind of completely switched gears and decided I did not want curry. So I'm just having a chicken and rice bowl. There's basmati rice under there, cucumbers, tomatoes. These are just soy curls. And all I did was put um, some coconut oil, the butter flavor one, and then salt, pepper, garlic on it, some olives. This is a onion aioli. So I'm just gonna drizzle that on the top. Just a couple tablespoons. And then for some spice, I'm gonna use this yellow bird ghost pepper condiment and put that over the top. And this is gonna be so, so good. Oh my gosh, look at that. I can't wait. So yummy. So I'm home, my battery's about to die. I'm getting ready to end my night with a cocomel chocolate and doing some laundry. Mmm. Cocomels are so good. My favorite vegan caramel. But I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. <laughs> oh my gosh, so rude. <laughs> Until next time, remember to keep an open mind, keep an open heart. Practice unconditional compassion, but don't take shit from anyone. I love you guys endlessly, and I hope you love yourselves even more. I'll see you really, really soon. Bye.